Hello, today in the UK the British churches are remembering Prisons Week and Andy West, who uh, is a teacher in prison, teaches philosophy to prisoners, written a book about it, he includes a, 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 an occasion when he introduced to his group uh, a, a Pandora's box, Pandora's box given to her by Zeus. Um, he was cross because Prometheus had given human beings fire, which was all to their advantage. Zeus thought, thought wanted to punish human beings for this, and so gave Pandora this box, which contained all sorts of evils, and when she opened it, out they all flew. But the thing which remained in the box, according to Zeus's instructions, was hope, because Zeus felt that hope might give uh, human beings some confidence, something to look forward to and not be a punishment and he wanted it to stay firmly in the box. He asked the prisoners to say which of the evils in the world they would like to put back in the box uh, and one of them said hope. He was wrong actually, hope had never left the box but that's by the by. Um, he said hope is, is destructive for us in prison because we really here need to accept rather than constantly hope for something different. We need to accept where we are uh, and get on with it. So you have two completely different ideas about hope. Uh, Zeus uh, not wanting human beings to have hope because he saw it as something which would give them confidence and uh, uh, a way of moving forward strongly and powerfully towards their, their vision. Uh, and, and the prisoner who felt that uh, unreal expectations uh, and hopes which would never be realised could actually undermine uh, contentment and happiness of the moment uh, insofar as they are achievable in prison. So uh, it made me think about hope, and I think obviously it's got to be realistic. Fantastical hopes are not helpful. Uh, uh, and I think if, if you're going to put a lot of trust in a hope, in a dream, then you have to be sure that should that not come to pass, that the disappointment at, not, at it not happening will be not greater than the energy and strength that the hope gave you when you had it. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult balance um, uh, that's part of, of making sure that the hope actually is going to give you strength and not in the end uh, un undermine you and I, I think I think uh, if we can have that kind of hope often it does help to have a vision of where we're going to, to have a, a hope of where we might get it gives us uh, a, a motivation for our lives but at the same time I think the prisoner was right hope must not be used as a way of escaping from the present situation. It needs to be part of uh, the acceptance that we have of where we are and what we're doing and, 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 and the ability just to get on with where we are. Uh, and, and I think this balance between uh, accepting where we are and, and going with that and having a dream, a vision that's realistic and positive uh, to give us energy and motivation, that balance is an important one for all of us in our lives. And I think that uh, Andy West, uh, by the sound of it, had a really good discussion with the prisoners uh, around that topic. And I, and I thought it was worth sharing with you today that th th that idea that hope has this dual edge to it. Uh, which we need to, 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 to recognise when we give ourselves to it.